Welcome, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College's Renewable Energy Technology Program, and today we are going to discuss the NOR. Very similar to the NAND, remember our NAND was our NOT AND. The NOR is a contraction of NOT OR. So given our inputs A and B, we would expect our output X for an OR to be Here's our inputs. Our OR is this way. A NOT OR would be the negation of that output. Okay? Whereby, anytime you all basically get two zeros, you get a one. Anytime there's a one, you get a zero. That is a NOR. How is the NOR drawn? It is drawn just like our regular OR, except it has a negation bubble at the very end. So A, B, X. Given inputs, these inputs right here, you get these outputs right there for a NOR. How is it drawn? Uh, actually, let's before we go into how it's drawn, let's do the pulsed operation of this guy. Um, given this NOR gate right here. Remember our negation bubble, that's very important. And these signals coming in, we can expect our output to look something like this. Where the only time it is high is when both signals A and B are zero right there. Okay, let's invert signal B and see what happens. That's what we get right there, because the only time that A and B are simultaneously low is right here. Give us a high output. So again, not or contracted into nor. To uh, Let's complicate things here, and very similar to the NAND and the negative or, the nor can also be known as, here's our NOR. The NOR can also be known as a negative AND. The symbol for a negative AND is negation bubbles on the input. So NOR negative AND, which is distinctly different from a NAND. Because remember, our NAND looks like this with a negation bubble on the output that is not equal to a negative AND. And we'll show you at the very end why that is true. Okay, so how does a negative AND work versus a NOR? Absolutely the same. Absolutely the same. So let's do A and B and X, A and B and X. And let's do A, B. Because so remember, we're using our OR statement before. Now we're going to use our NOR. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And let's put a negative. Here, one second. Here, I'm going I'm to re erase these. We'll come back to these. Oh, maybe I'm not going to erase them. Here we go. Okay, so our NOR, it was, excuse me, our OR was 0, 1, 1, 1. Our negative OR was 1, 0, 0, 0. Its description can be any time that there is a 1 on the input our output is low. So let's write that. Ignore description. And there you go. Anytime there's a high input, the output is low, which is the exact opposite of an OR. Because remember, an OR is anytime there's a high input, the output is high. So what is a negative AND? What is the verbiage for that? Well, the negative AND can be written this way. And there you go. Anytime both inputs are low, key is both. Both inputs are low. The output is high. So 
for a negative AND, anytime both inputs are low, the output is high. There you go. That's a, that's a negative AND. Okay, for a NOR, anytime there is a high input, the output is low. There you go. That's the verbiage for that portion of it. That's the verbiage for the, that portion of it. They're the same thing. Nor and a negative and. Okay, that is it for the nor, and we're going to move on to the exclusive or and the exclusive nor gate.